part three. Um, this is really, oh, <laughs> some of that I don't want you to read. <laughs> Relapse warnings. I'm going to read first all the warnings and then this, then I'll read the solutions. So we just had to list what our own signs of like warnings would be. And so my first one is body checking and body image. Um, I'm not sure, for those of you not aware of what body checking is, it is a symptom that comes along with eating disorders. It's hand in hand. And um, it's a hyper awareness of what you look like and like having to do things to to look at yourself like looking in the mirror having to look in the mirror um, and then how what you do when you're looking in the mirror like picking yourself apart and looking looking at parts instead of a whole or there's other things that people do um, I'm not gonna go too into them because I don't want to I don't want to trigger anybody but I will look at that sunlight um, I will sh oh, I can't get away from it. <laughs> I will share some of mine, not all of them. Um, there are two things that I, two. These are two of the things I've realized that I do. One, when I get upset or nervous or worried or angry, I take my fingers and I'll lean forward and I run my fingers down the vertebrae of my spine so I can feel it. As long as I can feel that those bones sticking out then all is good in the brain. Other thing I do is when I'm sad or upset or the same thing um, is I find myself doing this. Take my fingers and feel my ribs. As long as I can feel the ribs. I know it's disturbing. Um, there's more. There's more I do every night and every morning. Um, or I was doing. So... Yes. Okay. Um, not being okay with weight gain is another relapse warning. Stress and not dealing with it. Guy friends who make comments about females. I have a lot of guy friends. Um, more guy friends than girlfriends. I have a core group of females, my wolf pack and my soul sisters, and then I have a lot of dudes that I hang out with. And some of them, it's really hard because it's a running, constant running commentary on any female and every female who comes in our view, in their view. Constant. Uh, look at the stomach on that one, or look at the thighs on her, and sometimes it's good, and sometimes it's bad, or positives or negatives, but it's always this hyper-awareness, like, Look at her elbows. She's got old elbows. And I'm like, oh, it's, oh. I'm like it's hard. It's really hard for me. Um, and it's so triggering. And it's just hard when you're trying to be like, people are telling you, it doesn't matter what you look like. No, it does matter. It matters. It does matter. But do you need to let it matter? No. But it's harder to be around people who are constantly picking apart females' bodies, females by their physical attributes. I love you guys, but... That shit is fucked up. <laughs> or I don't know. It fucks me up. And maybe that's my responsibility. I'm babbling. Okay. Um, shooting. When I shoot, I don't eat. I go long periods without eating. You know, we're not taking breaks. Don't bring snacks. Don't take breaks. Also, when I'm shooting with dudes, sometimes I get embarrassed and don't want to say, yo, I need to go eat. Um, if I find myself isolating, if I find myself spending a lot of time alone, um, and choosing to be not social because of how I look, because I think I'm bigger and I don't like how I look and I can't possibly deal with like, the thought of anyone looking at me, that kind of isolation, that's kind of, that's eating disorder. That's what goes along with it. Um, that's a sign if I isolate when I feel those ways um, or if I find myself in situations where I stop using my voice where I let I give my power away to someone else um, change who I am quiet who I am not because it's for growth for myself but it's because I'm disempowered 
So those things. So those are the warnings. So the solutions I have is to stop body checking, do work on my body image, and give my scale away. I still have my scale. You know what? I'm not going to be able to list all. Well, maybe I will. Um, Jeez, I think this sucks. I want to stop it and delete it, but I don't want to do it again. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, stressing. <laughs> okay. Um, body checking I do probably a little less than half as much as I've previously done. And that's good. I mean, it's a work in progress. It's not the kind of thing that you just stop it automatically. You can't. It is, a lot of it is subconscious and you don't realize you're doing it until you find yourself doing it. So I've just, I have, I'm determined. I have that in me. I'm going to stop it. And so when I find myself doing it, then I stop myself from doing it. And so it's lessening and that's, it's a process and that's how it goes. Um, what else? The gaining weight. I have to eat what I need. And if I gain weight because of that, then that's what my body needs. And that I'm just, that's another process, and I have to keep just reframing in my head and telling myself that and being okay with it. Um, be the right person for me. Yes. Do work on myself. Know who I am and believe in who I am. Build a strong foundation. Accept the love I think I deserve. Give what I get. Self-preservation. So this is a big thing for me because it's like, part of the like losing my voice and giving my power away also stay grounded and stay present and get whole and stay whole you know there's no more looking for the right one for me I'm going to become the right one for me I think I deserve all of the love but what I actually accept in real life is partial love part of the love part of the regard Part, partial respect, partial openness, partial commitment, partial investment. That those parts have grown from the people, you know, but like each one gives more than the one before, but they're still only giving me parts. And I'm accepting that. Well, I was. I'm not anymore. I'm not anymore. Um, I think I'm going to stop this because it's already seven, almost eight minutes, and I'm going to do the rest. Sorry if that's torturous. <laughs> okay, I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Bye.